Hey, what's going on guys? Dan here and today I will be doing a tutorial on basic modeling in Cinema 4D. So pretty much I'll be just teaching you, um, you know, just the basics of modeling and um, how to model in Cinema 4D. So without further ado, uh, just drag a cube in and just drag it a little bit above like that. So with this cube right now, if you try to you know select faces uh, you won't be able to that's because you have not made it editable so to make it editable you just want to select the cube and click C and now if uh, you go down on the left side right here you'll see this orange thing or orange square popping out and if you just select that now you're able to select different faces like so and but the only problem is now uh, you can only select one face and uh, you don't have much, um, you don't have much, you know, you don't have many options to go with because now you can only select one face. So you can't really precisely model. So if you just undo everything and you just have the cube out, uh, if you go to object right here and you can increase the segments. So now you have a bit more, you have more options to play around with cause, since you have uh, more s segments to choose from, uh, like so. And once again, I'm just going to click C, so now you have more selections to choose from. If you go to the selection bar up here, uh, you'll see that you have some, you have a lot of choices for selections. Uh, the main ones I use are live selection, is live selection and ring selection. So live selection, what it is, you can just basically select one or two uh, different selections at a time. And uh, to select different selections, you just want to hold shift while clicking different selections. And uh, ring selection, what this is, it just goes all the way around. So if I just click right down here, it'll just go all the way around the cube. And you can just make it go vertical too, like that. All right, so now after you've kind of, you know, get familiarized with all these different selections, uh, what you could do, uh, just for sake of the tutorial, we'll just select this whole face right here. And uh, what you could do, or some stuff that you could do, is uh, if you go to structure, you have a bunch of op options to choose from. I haven't been like played around with a lot of them. The ones that I use the most are extrude, extrude inner, and matrix extrude. Uh, those are the, really the ones that I've used actually at all, really. So uh, yeah, uh, with extrude, what this does, it basically just extrude stuff, make stuff go longer. You can even extrude it inner or uh, inwards. But um, kind of just a quick tip, if you see, it's kind of harsh on the edges. If you see, it's the cube is not looking really good like that when you're extruding it inner. So cool thing they could do is uh, if you select extrude inner, is um, you can kind of make the selection a bit smaller like that and then extrude it inwards like that and you'll see that it's not too harsh and it looks a lot better. So I guess we'll just leave our shape like that and um, before going on to matrix extrude I will just like to um, I guess give you a small tip on putting materials on your thing that you're modeling. So if you have a face, if you have something selected and uh, you want to put a material on it so I'll just choose red for now uh, if you just want to drag it on, and you'll be able to select it only on that selected part. Uh, same goes if you want to select another part. So let's say if I select this little part right here, and uh, I'll just use white, whatever. And I want to put it right there. You have that, so you have that part selected. So yeah, so you can. Um, this is very useful, I should say, uh, when modeling, because then you can easily select, you know, uh, different parts and put different materials on them. And uh, so matrix extrude, what this is, it's I think it's the coolest effect, but um, it will look bad if you don't really know how to use it. Uh, so if I just select matrix extrude, as you can see, it just it just makes it look go crazy, um, as you can see right here. And um, although it may look bad right now, obviously, but um, 
if you play around with the settings on the side right here, you can actually make this uh, matrix extrude look really, really cool. And you can make some abstract uh, shapes with it. And um, if, if you'll notice that, um, let's say if I were to extrude something out like that, you, you, you basically have more selections to play around with now. Uh, you can, like, you know, you can select the sides right here, and it goes to live selection. Select the sides right here, or something, you know, and you can even like put materials on them. And you have a lot more selections or um, options, I should say, when you know just uh, screwing around with modeling and stuff. Uh, so I guess that's kind of it for basic modeling. Um, I don't know, really, you just want to play around with everything. Um, I think I started modeling like three weeks ago, and I I've just been, you know, just working around with Cinema 4D, but uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you a bit. Uh, if you want me to go, you know, a bit more in-depth in modeling, or if you want to, you know, request any, you know, or request any certain you know things to model um just leave a comment you know and if this tutorial did help you if you don't mind just leave a like and uh i guess that's it for me uh, i guess i'll see you guys later